S. Frost and Glenbrook remained strong after declaring a trade stop with Hyzant. Gustadolf sends Erika to Hyzant to deliver his ultimatum, and dispatches an army to Glenbrook to increase the pressure on the Holy State. Hyzant, under the banner of Prince Roland, sends Minister Serenoa Wolfort of the Saintly Seven to prepare for retaliation. Softly but surely, Norzelia descends into war once more. Those are the Archduke's wishes. I implore you not to forget that this is his final offer. Come to think of it, I heard that Wolfort was added to your saintly ranks. Where might he be? I'm afraid I cannot answer that. The dealings of the Saintly Seven are our business and ours alone. How disappointing. I had hoped to congratulate him on his promotion. That wretched woman. Those are hardly wishes. Esfrost all but demands us open the source to restore our diplomatic relations. The duchy fears neither a lack of salt nor the goddess's shield. We can assume they have a plan in mind. Then this was no more than a ploy to stall for time. We had best expedite House Wolford's plans to take the capital. Minister Exam, send word to Minister Saranoa. You wish to lend us Hyzant's new weapon? Yes. It was a directive from the Holy One. The weapon is one Minister Lila developed in secret. I compressed a vast quantity of magic into crystal form. We call this weapon Elfric. The blast crystals have yet to be perfected, but they can decimate a castle wall easily enough. We thank you for your support. Be forewarned that their power makes them unwieldy in an average battle. They are not meant to be used on people. Furthermore, we are only giving you a single blast crystal. Regardless, I am certain it will come in handy while recapturing Whiteholm Castle. Its incomplete nature makes it regrettably tricky to use, but Milo should be able to take care of that for you. Use them both wisely. I am Milo. A dancer by trade, but assistant to the saintly seven on occasion. I shall serve you, Minister Saranoa, until we reclaim the capital. You sure you'll be okay? You needn't worry. It isn't my first time flirting with danger. Mm. A Hyzantian spy? Very likely. The blast of the Elfric should help you catch the enemy unawares. Both my army and Minister Camsells will join in the attack. Can we entrust command to you, Minister Serenal? Most certainly. And the crystal will be key in our plan to reclaim Glenbrook. You have made a grave error in allowing thieves to raid the Archives, Constable Sigris. Forgive me. My guards gave chase as soon as they noticed intruders, but they'd already fled beyond our reach. What did they take? 
Luckily, they were unable to gain entry to where we keep our more sensitive texts. All they were able to make off with was a single book penned by the late Lady Orlea. Orlea? She left behind a message of sorts? She'd better be passed on to Lady Frederica when she came of age, but it seems those wishes were forgotten. Thallus or Erica must have hidden it from her. They derived no greater pleasure than from tormenting her. Do we know what was written in this book? No. Storage records indicate it was protected by some arcane seal. It must be of some significance. If she would go to such lengths to protect it from prying eyes. Perhaps something to do with the Rosellan liberation, for which she fought so fiercely. Or perhaps it is not but a mother complaining to her daughter of a duchy they both despise. I shall send a party to hunt down the thieves at once. No need. Such ruffians are unlikely to be in the employ of our foe. No doubt they were simply looking to loot us to fill their own purses. It is more important that we dispose of Svarog and finish the Nell with all haste. Dispatch your soldiers there. By your grace. Ah, tidings from Erica. She says Hyzant refused our final offer. You seem surprised. There was no way Hyzant would agree to open the source. I know that, but the negotiations were meant to buy us time. Yet it seems their soldiers are already on the move. Damn it all! This wasn't supposed to happen. If you play with fire, you get burned. Now we have no recourse but to meet them in battle without the Archduke. So it has come to war, then? Hmm. We just have to beat them at their own game. Their newest saint is heading the vanguard. You must be delighted that a former retainer to the crown is coming to visit, right, Cordelia? Enough, Thallus. I won't allow such impudence toward the queen. Queen? This child is nothing more than a puppet. And I believe the impudent one here is you, Avalora. A general has no right telling the Prime Minister what to do. I had no idea the Prime Minister's job was to torment the weak. Enough, General Avalora. I will answer the Prime Minister. As the Queen of Glenbrook, I shall protect my kingdom until my dying breath. No matter who may stand against me. It appears your impudence is contagious, Avalora. Your charge knows not how powerless she is. Worry not, Your Majesty. I shall protect you. Because I am to wed the Archduke? Because you are a warrior. One who does not give up, even if she must fight her battles alone. I was an orphan. I never knew my parents. I entered the army to make a place for myself. So I know better than anyone the pain of having to do everything on your own. Allow me to bear my heart to you as well, General of Laura. As the last heir to the throne of Glenbrook, I do not intend to let Gustudolf have his way. You mean to strike down the Archduke? But I lack the power to do so. Have you heard of the Royalists? The aristocrats who were aid to my father? I have. I also heard they secretly indulged in bribes and the like for personal gain. That man Patriot was cozying up to the Archduke not seconds after King Regna's beheading. Their kind knows no loyalty. Indeed. But Gustadolf has not given any of them a position in his court, so they have fallen on hard times. 
I want to ask Patriot and the other royalists for their help. Are you mad? No doubt they would wholeheartedly embrace you as their symbol, but only for their own purposes. I understand that. But their years in service to the Crown have earned them great influence in politics. I must have their support if I'm to reclaim Glenbrook. Is it possible for you to rein them in? Not alone. But with you, General of Laura, I can. They lack military might. If you accompany me, I could sway them to my cause. Please, General, lend me your strength. As an S-Frosty general, I simply cannot turn a deaf ear to what you've told me. Did you not think I would tell the Archduke of your plans? Of course I did. But... I refuse to stand idly by as a mere decoration. So if it meant earning your trust, I was willing to show you that I wish to protect Glenbrook by any means necessary. You took a gamble. I had to, for it is not status or reward that moves you. <laughs> so you bet on my honor, and refusal would sully my name forever. However, safeguarding the kingdom comes first. Fighting at your side will have to wait. General of Laura! A word of advice, your majesty. Both Hyzant and the Archduke are veterans of war. The fight will not be an easy one, and may rage on for many years. Even so, I will not falter. I must do this, for my father and brothers. An admirable resolve. One which I will see fulfilled. I shall be your sword and shield, my queen. Thank you, General of Laura. Benedict asked me to scout out Teleor and where the Esfrosty soldiers are stationed. But I hardly see any around. Why did he ask me to come here in the first place? I doubt it would matter in reclaiming the capital. But orders are orders. I should report back. <laughs>